breath in. And away. Rolling onto the side of the body and releasing the cushion. And coming up to a seated position. So if you want to have it a little bit easier, seated position, you might rise up slightly onto your cushion. We're going to rotate the wrist as we extend the arms out to the side. And all the way over the head. And then taking the arms back. Circling through the wrist. Interlace the fingers behind you, reach the arms away, opening up through the chest. If neck allows, gaze up slightly. Release the hands. <coughs> Walking the arms forward, allow the head to drop down. Deep surrendering breaths. Breath in and breath out. Breath in and breath out. Slowly walking the hands back up. <clears throat> Bring your hands to your heart centre. Allow the eyes to close or gaze to a fixed point. Three arms, if you wish to join in with me, deep breath in. Oh. Responsibly. Hadio, Mario, Maria, Hadio. Hadio, Hadio, Maria, Hadio. Hadio, Hadio, Maria, Hadio. Hari Om, Hari Om, Hari Hari Om. Hari Om, Hari Om, Hari 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 Om. Hari Om, Hari Om, Hari 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 Om. Hari Om, Hari Om. Hari Om, Hari Om, Hari 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 Om. Hari 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 Om. Hari 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 Om.
Bring the hands together, gently rubbing, gently rubbing to create heat. And then placing the hands over the eyes, allowing the forehead to drop down to the hands. Taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Deep breath in. A deep breath out. A deep breath in. And a release. Rising up the head, glide in the fingertips over the forehead, over the eyelids. Massaging the temples. Cheeks and the jaw, opening and closing the jaw, lifting the chin slightly, making this kind of shape of the hands so all the little, all the fingers together come out. And just slowly coming down the throat, really squeezing the shoulders. Giving ourselves a little hug, allowing the head to drop down, just a little squeeze. And gently coming down the arms. And then across the chest, and the little palms there. Uh, uh, Turn one hand, palm facing up. Down the inside of the arm and up the exhale. And each firm, not too hard. <laughs> so down the inside, up the outside. The last time, palm facing up. Down the inside. And then switching, palm facing up. All the way tapping down the inside, palm facing down. Down the inside of the arm and up the outside. And once more down the inside and up the outside. Lifting up one arm, tucking down, underneath the arm, get all the way to the hip and back up three times. So this is the doe in from Tai Chi. It's stimulating the body and then as it other side, patting down and back up. And it works on the meridians, the energy centers of the body, just keeping them flowing. Let's come over the chest once more. Uh, and circling our bellies. Bring the hands onto the head, give a little pitter patter all over the head. Back down the shoulders, round the back of the body, and down the outsides of the legs. Yeah, something to move our legs, might we? And up the other side. And down the outsides. Good. And then, you have got a foot fetish. <laughs> just draw one leg in and just mass margin. The base of your foot. So, wonder why we didn't do this so often, or perhaps you do. I certainly did. So, just thanking our feet for carrying our body around every day. And the ankles. And then switching feet. Whichever way feels nice for you to massage your foot, the toes, just stretching out and focusing on any areas which feel tight for you. And up to the ankle. 
Good. Okay. We're coming around onto all fours. Coming into cat and cow. Rounding. And arching through the butt. Remember when you lift the chin forward, drop the belly down. Control that those shoulders of your back. And then walking the hands forward and dropping down into puppy dog. So your bum is above your hips. So not child's pose. Your bum is above your hips. Walking the arms forward. And breathing. Connecting with the breath. Now rising back up, bring the elbows together and the palms together, walking the elbows a little bit more forward, drop the forehead down onto the upper arms and draw the arms back. That feels okay, just opening the elbows a bit more, maybe drawing the thumbs back a bit closer to the back of the body. If you do have a block, you want to make it a little bit deeper. Better if you've got two blocks, but one block does work. You're just taking the elbows to the edges of the block and dropping the hands back down, just so the forehead then can drop a little bit lower so you get a bit more stretch through the arms. Breathing deeply in and deeply out. Deeply in and deeply in. Releasing, release the block to the side. Interlace the fingers, tuck your toes, and lift you up into your dolphin or kind of forearm down dog. So you can make it easier by just having the feet further back. You can make it harder by walking the feet towards your arms, deeper stretch through the legs, creating straight in the arms. You're just coming up and down at your own time. You've had enough, just drop the knees back down, resting into child. If it feels too much for you tonight, you just want to be in down dog and then child, let that option be okay for you. Maybe when you're in the forearm side, see if you could just press into the arms and push back ever so slightly, opening up through the shoulders a little bit deeper. Whenever you need to rest in Charles. Making your way down onto the front of the body. Interlacing the hands behind the back of the body, forehead resting down on the floor. Keep it together or apart, whichever feels best for you. Keep it together is more challenging. And as you inhale, rise up the head and chest. Arms are reaching away, any pulling in the back, draw the feet apart. Focusing on the breath. If the back feels a bit tired, just use the breath, inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Otherwise, just hold there, lifting up and staying there. Whichever suits you. We're releasing down, taking the cheek to the side. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. A deep breath in. 
And a deep breath. Deep breath in. And away. Bring the arms just beside your shoulders. And you're rising up further. Check the back's okay. Draw the shoulders up. From here, bend your left elbow as you drop the side of the head down to the floor, gazing underneath your left arm. And how as you rise up? Exhale as you lower. Inhale as you rise up. Exhale as you twist and lower. And maybe you might come up onto the fingertips, drawing the arms back a little bit more. You're rising up higher. And then you, so as you drop down to the mat, the right shoulder drops down as you look through the left arm. You're really mobilizing through the spine. Learn with your breath. Once more each side. Now back to center and stay up high, breathing. Draw the shoulders down away from the ears, bellies drawn in, supporting through the spine. And releasing cheek to the other side, hands alongside by the hips. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Tucking the arms underneath the body, making fists or hands flat. And a sort of basana, lotus pose. If you need to, you can do one leg at a time, otherwise, both legs rising up. Lengthening through the feet. If the knees tend to bend, flex through the feet. Otherwise, just use the balls of your feet as an extension of the spine. So imagine the energy flowing out through the feet. If you're happy, you can lift the head slightly. If you want to flow with the breath, you can inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Otherwise, stay into your lift. Breathing. If the back hinges feet apart, the back's okay, feet together. Releasing down, release the arms, cheek to the side again. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in and away. Release the arms out in front, taking them out to a V shape, or you can have cactus arms with the elbows a bit. From here, rise in the opposite arm and the opposite legs. So Bit easier on the back if you have the arms and cactus. Otherwise, arm back into a V shape. Rise the right arm, left leg. Lower. Rise the left arm, right leg. Lower. Coming from side to side. If you feel strong enough. Both arms, both legs lift, check on the back, might be too strong. Maybe stay with one side and then the other. 
See what works for you. And releasing. All right, and go. Bending the legs. Reaching around, taking hold of your ankles, flexing through the feet. Draw the belly in, press the feet into the hands, rising up the head, neck and chest as the feet move away from you. Breathe in. Deep breath in. And deep breath in. Deep breath in. And deep breath in. Deep breath in and away, releasing back down to your mat. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders and rising up onto all fours. Extending the left leg behind you and bending the knee, flexing the foot. Right arm reaches around, taking hold of the ankle, pushing the foot away from you. Breathing. You can tuck your toes of the foot on the floor to help with the balance. Spread the fingers wide at the left hand. Breath flowing in. And breath flowing in. Breath flowing in. And out. And release it then. Switching sides, right leg extends, bend the knee, flex the foot. Left arm reaches around, pushing the foot into the hand. Use a strap if you need to around the ankle. If you need more balance, tuck the left toes. Focus on the breath. Pressing down through to all four corners of the hands and not too much weight in the wrist. Breath flowing in, breath flowing in, breath flowing in, and breath flowing in. Release the foot and taking the leg which you've got lifted around the back of the left leg. So crossing over the back of the left leg. The knee comes over, all the way over, Sonia. Got it, drop down, that's it. And then walking the hands back, coming into cow face legs. So your thumb is dropped down in the centre, one foot to one side, one foot to the other. So ideally the foot is around by the hip, you've got both sitting bones down on the floor. To make it easier, you can always use your cushion to rise you up slightly. The hips aren't very loose, it's my not. Look for the knees to be stacked. Mine are a bit off, so my hips are a little bit tight. Reach your arms up to the side, out to the side, and all the way up to the sky. Bend in the elbows, and reaching the arms up. Keep the right arm up, left arm drops down, wraps around the back of the body. Right arm reaches to the left, opening up through the body. Twisting to the right side, follow with the gauge, won't twist now. And back to centre. Feel the crown of the head lift and lengthen. Breath flowing. And gently releasing. And crossing the legs, extending the legs and in front. If you've got a block underneath, release the block. Draw the toes back. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. 
Hinge and forward from the hips, allowing the hands to drop down wherever they reach. Work to lift and lengthen through the back of the body. Let that be your guide as to how far you come down. Toes, in particular, the little toes, draw them back towards you. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Taking the right hand to the outside of the left leg, wherever it might reach. You might be able to reach to the left ankle. The left arm, either wrapping around the back of the body, draw the left elbow back, uh, left uh, shoulder back, or reach your arm up behind you. So you've kind of got a straight line from the arm. And it can follow with the gaze if neck, neck allows. So you're using your hand on your leg to kind of lift you up and twist you into the pose. Breathing. Draw those shoulders down away from the ears. Coming back to centre and releasing over the legs. Left hand to the exit of the right leg, or take it over the bottom of the right foot if you can reach that far. Right arm wraps around the back of the body, or reaches behind you. Use your right left arm as a pivot. Draw the shoulders down, barely strolling. Gaze just wherever suits or from there, feel that to the back hand. Breath flowing in, and breath flowing out. Breath flowing in and breath flowing in. Once more in and back to centre. Rising up this time, taking the hands behind you, bending your knees, soles of the feet on the floor. Lift up your hips. So any wrist issues, you can always make fists. If you feel strong enough, bring the knees together, weight to the left leg, right leg extends out. Breathing, maybe lifting the leg up. Releasing down, switching sides, leg out, all the way up to the sky. Squeeze your bum. And releasing, dropping the bum back down. Good, we're going to carry face the other way. So this time the right leg is underneath, the left leg is on top. Use your block or cushion if you need to. Shoulders down away from you. Reach your arms out to the side, palms facing up. Draw the thumbs back, opening up through the chest. Left arm up to the sky, right arm reaches away. See where you reach. Breathe. If you just leave the hands on the back or take over the top. So this side is much tighter for me through my right shoulder. So I often find if I pull that arm through, it gives me a little bit more. Breathing in, and breathing out. Breathing in, and breathing out. And releasing, rolling out through your shoulders. And releasing the legs. Bringing the soles of the feet together. Allow the knees to come apart, taking hold of the ankles, lift and lengthen through the crown of the head, dropping those shoulders down. Lift, lift, lift. From here, hinging forward, rounding through the back, allow the elbows to open out to the side, clasping hold of your toes, chin drops down towards the chest. 
breathing into the back of the body. Breath flowing in and slowly flowing out. Inhale to rise back up, draw the legs back in, extend the legs out, draw the toes back, hands alongside by the hip, lift and lengthen through the back of the body. Toes flex, chin drawn in, breathing. Gaze to a fixed point or close in the eyes. Releasing, crossing the legs, taking the hands no, take them to the side, then press into the hands, see if you can lift your bum off, see if you can lift your feet up, <laughs> again, <laughs> change across the legs, see if you can lift the bum off, see if you can lift the bum and the feet up, <laughs> oh my goodness, too hard for hot spring. <laughs> okay, and releasing. Making your way back down onto the back of the body. Have a drink if you need to. Oh. Bending the knees in and taking the knees out towards the armpits. Reach your feet up to the sky so your feet are walking flat on the ceiling. So either you take your hands behind the back of the thighs or to the shins for happy baby or all the way to the feet. Check your lower back is on the floor. So your sternum needs to be on the floor. Sonia, it looks like yours is lifted up slightly. Just make sure that lower back is going onto the floor. So if that means that you take hold of the ankles instead, it might just be optical illusion with the screen. So do feel free to ignore me if it is. And just rock from side to side. Extending out through the left leg, so left leg straightens. Bending in the left leg, right leg straightens, flex through the foot. Pull the leg in, so we're coming from side to side. One leg extends, comes in, other leg extends, then comes in. Maybe both legs together. Um, if you can reach your toes, it's quite nice just to take like your peace fingers around the big toe. Really flexing through the feet. Breathing. And bringing the legs back together. The legs are straight, tucked to the sky, feet are together. You either got the hold of the feet or the backs of the calves, flexing through the feet or backs of the thighs, even. Bend your knees in toward the chest, crossing the right leg tightly over the left. Either have your arms out into a T or cactus or interlace behind the back of the neck. Depend on space and what you want to do today. Dropping your knees to the left. And gaze to the right. And breathing up and down the spine. 
With each breath in, breath rises up the spine. With each breath out, breath releases back down. Using the breath to heal, release, set any tension. Drawing the belly in, coming back to centre and cross the legs, switching the cross of the legs. Drop the feet to the right, gaze to the left. Breath coming in and going out. Breath coming in. And going in. Move back to center and crossing the legs, taking hold of the knees and just align the knees to circle in one direction and the other. And release the legs long. Allow the hands to rest alongside the body, palms facing up. So we'll be here a little while, so if you need an extra layer, you get it. <laughs> 